with these uh, pieces of legislation. Thank you. I call Sarah Daly. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to take a short call in support of the Court Matters Bill and Tribunal uh, Powers and Procedures Legislation Bill. And um, to pick up on the point um, of the previous speaker, um, I, I speak as the current chairperson of the Justice and Electoral Select Committee. Of course, Parliament will be dissolved on Thursday, so um, I will hold that mantle for um, a little bit of time um, to come yet. But um, yes, we will be dissolving the Parliament, and um, who knows what will happen after that. But one thing that the Justice and Electoral Select Committee is united on is um, of course, making sure that everybody has access to justice. And as part of that, we do need to ensure that our system is modern, that it is efficient and effective. And of course, the one thing that I need to um, praise in this um, amendment bill is the fact that in the civil arena, um, the disputes tribunal uh, threshold, monetary threshold, will rise from $15,000 uh, to $30,000. And certainly in my um, previous life as a solicitor um, and working for clients, this will be a welcome change. Obviously, as the economy is growing and people enter into commercial transactions, uh, when there is a dispute, people look for fast and effective ways to settle disputes. And of course, the Disputes Tribunal is um, a judicial body that is often used um, to deal with this when a negotiation uh, no, or cannot bring about. Um, a satisfactory outcome. So I know that this um, raising of the threshold from 15,000 to 30,000 will be welcomed in the community. Um, it allows the opportunity for people to take their claims to this tribunal to be heard, and by raising that threshold and giving um, a, a, a larger um, discretion to uh, the judge, um, that means that these claims are settled more quickly and efficiently, and that, of course, is a good thing in our justice system. The other um, point that I want to talk about that I'm impressed with in this bill is, of course, um, the streamlined processes for lower um, level offences, um, punishable by community work, so allowing defendants to enter a written plea rather than making that physical appearance in court. Um, again, this adds to efficiency. The uh, defendant is still getting a fair hearing. Uh, they are able to enter their plea in writing and put supporting documentation around that. But again, it streamlines the processes so that um, courts aren't bogged down um, by these lower level offences and can judge on the merits of the case um, with respect to that. So that's an important streamlining process that um, will be investigated in the select committee process, but I think on the face of it is, is a good one. And certainly to pick up on a third uh, to give the court security uh, staff uh, more powers to deal with unruly people in courts. When you are in a court and there is disruption, um, of course it's very distracting, but people do need to feel safe when they are presenting their case, when they are coming to be heard. And uh, so to give further extension of these powers to <coughs> detain, to court officers detain or remove people who are abusive or disruptive, um, creating disorder, um, that is a good thing to allow these people that have uh, rightly gone to court to have their day to be heard, um, to feel safe, but also um, to give extra mana to, to the court process and to the judiciary. When one goes to the judiciary, um, it, it's, it's an important process. It's about justice, it's about democracy, and we need to maintain that level of respect in a courtroom. And so I think that that is an important amendment to look at to give further powers to make courts uh, more secure. So, Mr Speaker, I think that this is um, a timely introduction of these two bills to 
again um, fit with our better public service targets to make the justice system more modern and efficient and effective, and I support this um, bill to the House. Oh, well, the world. Um, as a member of the Justice and Electoral